So this is lesson 80, D is in boy, in algebra 1, continuing on with operations with scientific notation, and we're ready for multiplication and division. Alright, so when we have 0 0.06 times 10 to the 5th, and we're multiplying that by 300,000, and then we're dividing that by 1,000, times point zero 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 one two three four nine. All right, the cool thing about this is you can do this without a calculator, almost in your head. All right, so first of all, we're going to change everything to correct scientific notation. So there's four different parts we have to change. This one here, all we have to do is move the decimal place over to, so it becomes a 6.0 instead of a point zero six. So, 6... And then our 10 to the 5th, we're going to move over because we're moving this over 2. So that's going to be 10 to the 2nd. And <clears throat> we're moving the decimal two places to the right, so it's negative. And then we're going to add these two. <clears throat> Alright, so there is the correct format for first one. So we'll cross that one out. This one is going to be 3 times 10. And then we're going to move the decimal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the left. So that means it's going to be a negative 5. I'm sorry, a positive 5. We moved it to the left. And then that's going to be over. We can cross that out that we're done. 1 times 10. And we moved the decimal here over. 1, 2, 3. So we moved it over 3 in a positive... Or in, 3 to the left, so it's going to be a positive 3. If I would have moved it to the right, it would have been a negative 3. And we're going to multiply that by 9 times 10. And let's see what we did here. We moved it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Moved it 5 to the right, and when we move it to the right, it's negative. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the top. So 6 times 3 is 18 times 10 to the 3 plus 5 is 8 over 1 times 9 is 9. 3 plus negative 5 is negative 2. So we have that. Now we're just going to divide these two. 18 over 9 is 2. And 8 minus negative 2. This is 8 minus negative 2, which means it's 8 plus 2, so that's going to be a 10. And that ends up being our answer. Alright, let's do example 80.4, and I think after we do that we'll be done with this lesson. Now these get to be um, a little bit tricky for some of you, but <clears throat> once you practice them enough you'll You'll get it without too much trouble. 0 0.0007 times 10 to the negative 23rd. And this is 4,000 times 10 to the 6th over 1, 2, 3, 4. And then 7 million. Alright, so the ones that seem to be tricky are the ones like this that are already in scientific notation but be, need to be made in more scientific notation by this being changed. And the same with this one. So let's go ahead with this first one. And again, the only thing that has to be done is we have to move that 7 there. And when we move that 7, we moved it 1, 2, 3, 4 to the right, so it's negative. But we also have this 10 to the negative 23rd there too. So we've got 7, and because these are next to each other, we have to combine them, so that's negative 27, so we added those, and then we're going to do the same with the 4,000. We're going to change it to 4 times 10, and we move the decimal 1, 2, 3, so that's a cubed, but we also have the 10 to the 6th here. So we have to add these two, so that'll be 10 to the 9th. 
So I'm going to get rid of all this and just put a 9 up there, and I, that'll take care of that one. And then let's look at this one here. This is going to have to change to 4 times 10, and we moved it over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 to the right, negative. If we moved it to the left, it would be positive, which is um, what we're going to do here. So this is 7 times 10, and we move the decimal from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 places. So that's to the left, so it's positive. Okay, so now we take our top number, 7 times 4, and get 28. We add these two over 4 times 7 is 28. And we add those two. Okay. Now, 28 over 28 is 1. And then we subtract negative 18 minus 1. So we get 1 times 10 to the negative 19th power for our answer. For example, 80.4. All right, let's do one more. And we will be done with this lesson. I just like doing several examples here because it really helps you to kind of get a grasp of what's going on. So we've got 20 times 10 to the minus 45. And then we have 400 times 10 to the 20th over 100,000 times 0 0.0008 times 10 to the negative 15. All right, so our job is to write each one of these in the correct format. So this becomes 2 times 10 to the um, first, okay, so this 20 became 2 times 10 to the first, because we moved the decimal place 1 over to the left, so that becomes a 1. We still have this negative 45 here. <clears throat> so this gives me 2 times 10 to the negative 44, because I had 1 and negative 45, so that gives me negative 44. All right, let's erase this. And this is what, whoop, picked the wrong thing. This is the simplification of that, okay? So we want to keep that blue one. All right, let's look at the next one here. Let's look at the 400. So we're going to change it to 4 times 10 to the 1, 2. We moved it over 2. And we moved it to the right. So, uh it's going to end up being a positive 2. I'm sorry, we moved it to the left, didn't we? The decimal was right here. We moved it 1, 2 to the left, so it's a positive 2. And we also have 10 to the 20th, which is what this was right there. So this becomes 4 times 10. And we add those together. There. All right, so right now we have the top one's done in the correct scientific notation. Alright, let's work on the 100,000 right here. So we're going to write that as 1 times 10, and we move the decimal place from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we moved it over 5 to the left, which is the positive, and then we're going to change this one. And we're going to write it as 8 times 10, and we're just looking at this part right here. 8 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4. And we moved it in a uh, to the right, so it's a negative. And then we have the 10 to the negative 15 also. So this actually becomes 8 times 10 to the negative 4 plus negative 15 is negative 19. So let's go ahead and get rid of this and leave it as 10 to the negative 19. Okay. 
So everything is written the way I want it now. Now I just have to do the easy part. And that is... Oh, trying to move everything isn't going to happen. Okay, well let's just do what we've got. We're going to multiply the top. Whoa, wrong color. I wanted a red pointer. Alright, we're going to multiply toward the top. 4 times 2 is 8. And then we add that to that. Okay, negative 44 plus 22 is negative 22. 1 times 8. And 5 plus negative 19 is negative 14. Okay, now we're done with that, we're going to divide. 8 divided by 8 right here is 1. And then we subtract negative 22 minus a negative 14. So don't forget to minus the negative 14. So that becomes a plus, right? So negative 22 plus 14 is negative 8. All right, so notice how he did all of these. Didn't use a calculator at all. I was able to do a problem as difficult as that, pretty much just using pen and paper without a calculator at all. There wasn't any reason to use a calculator, and I ended up getting that for my answer. All right, so that's it for lesson number 80.